Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Painting with your Ultra. We are using the new Ultra by Harder and Steenbeck. So it's gonna be a nice, simple paint process today with this, this guy's nice, relaxed. The brush helps you along the way. We're gonna be using the collar settings on this. So if you've not seen this brush before, you've got an adjustable collar just here and this will guide you along with your trigger and put the right amount of paint down for the process that you're doing. So the bit that we are doing today is a sort of a test panel. It's an aluminium composite panel or signboard as you can call it. This is powder coated one side. I've prepped this to 800 and just radius the corners off and just sanded down around the edges to make it nice and smooth. I've cleaned that down with a wax and grease remover to get all the fingerprints off and the excess sort of sanding powder that you get off if you're sanding paint down. So that's good to go. Tapes that we're using, I'm using a one mil fine line and an inch masking tape, a scalpel, and I've also made a starburst. Now, I won't talk you through the process of making this in this video, but there is a video on the channels on the channel to guide you through making a starburst shield so it's nice and simple but i'll show you the application of this a little bit later on so paints that we're using today is three different solvents so mask if you're using solvents or acrylics guys wear a mask if you're not in a well ventilated room i can put the extractor on in here so i can still talk through bits as we go along but a mask if you haven't got an extractor and you're in a sort of an enclosed space so we've got a white base coat, a silver base coat, a black base coat, and then when it comes to the acrylics, I've got some transparent shading gray by Golden High Flow. I'm gonna be using that. Panel wipe the grease up, because I've just cleaned it. I've got a little pot of thinners if I need to just thin the consistency down of these paints. Brush, airline, we're running 30 PSI for a start, and then we'll drop the air pressure down, but you'll see that as we go along. Paint strainer. To strain your paint always strain your paint guys because if you get like lids that are like this where it's got dried up paint on when you crack the lids open that then bits fall into the paint and then you've got to try and push them then bits of that dried up paint through your airbrush and it's not advisable so that's all the bits first color that we're going to go in with is silver on this i'll move the camera around and talk you through this bit Right everybody, I've got the silver strained. I'm gonna drop a little bit of thinner in that just to thin it down just a little bit more. So nice and simple. Get your airbrush, hook it up to your main line. Now we're running 30 PSI. Now I'm gonna go open trigger for this because I wanna put a silver band round this outside because we're going to be doing some one mil fine line so i'm just going to do a little pin line of silver around the outside so a little bit of silver paint just that's coming through nice so distance with this because we're going full trigger you're going to get your full amount of paint when you pull back on the trigger so i'm going to put my distance around six inches away from the panel and just go lightly around. It's probably not picking it up on camera, but the silver is going down. So just a few passes around that of the silver. Nice and simple. Hopefully that's picking that up on camera. So we've got like an inch band all the way around. Now let your paints go off, especially if you're putting tapes down after, you've really got to let your paints go off. With solvent paint, they dry a lot quicker than water-based. So just give your water base plenty of time to go off before you start applying like fine line or masking tapes, or you will pull your paint off the panel. And that's something you don't want. So just clean this one through. Nice and easy again. It's literally got a little bit of thinners in here. Mix round in the cup, blast through on full trigger. 
and that's your brush nice and clean right guys we've got the silver paint down and i've just literally gone in with a hairdryer just to dry this off now we're going to put some fine line down just going to put a rough line around here Do. If you need to cut fine line, I find your best way of doing it is hold a blade towards it like that and just pull back to the blade. So that's the pin line down, nice and simple. Now the next stage on this is to do the black base coat. And we're gonna fully do a completely covered panel now in black. I just wanted to put that little pin line of silver in. And that's why we dropped the, the silver down first. So same again, we're gonna go full trigger because I want full paint coverage on this, on this part. Some black base coat. Take a few passes. So that'll do for the black. We black that off may look a little bit patchy because we've got a little bit of light coming this way from the studio light so it may look a little bit patchy here but it's not it's covered up right so we've deep pin lined it and i've placed the logo sort of central a little bit of masking tape the length of your logo put that down like that and then flip your logo over peel the backing off and then you could use a squeegee but you can use your finger and just work your way along like that and then just remove your masking And then you remove the white part and that leaves your stencil logo cut underneath like that. And now all that's left to do is just mask off the outer area so we don't get any overspray on the black. So you're aiming for that. You've masked off your graphic you're not going to get any overspray on your panel and we can now put the next color in on this and now this is where we're going to start using the settings on the ultra so the next color that's going to go in on this guys is the silver again so drop a little bit in your brush like that now the setting that we're going to use i'm going to set it to base on this I'm going to drop the pressure down to 20, 25 PSI, test your spray. So that's the sort of spray, if you can see that there, that's the sort of nice spray pattern you're getting on the base coat. And that's what I'm after, because I don't really want to put loads of paint down, because it's sort of very intricate text. You just want to put a bit of paint down and build the coats up so back off about a hand's distance away like that and just spray nice and light you can go right up on the trigger to the base coat set and you'll pull back on the trigger and you'll feel it stop so you're just rocking that trigger backwards and forwards to that stop mark on the setting the base and you'll get a nice even coat down like this so 
So nice and simple, just keep your distance. Move with the brush so you're not building up the paint in one area too much. And if you are spraying silver, it's always good to look at an angle at silver if you're spraying it, because if the light catches it, it doesn't look like any paint's going down. But if you sort of angle your head to the light and just look down the panel, you'll see your paint going down a lot easier. So just working that colour in till you get the full coverage that you're after. So that's the silver down on the logo. The next thing what I'm going to do is, and it can, as I say, it'll be quite awkward to do because we've got to do like a black and a white on this next. And because you're getting a glare off silver and you've got light hitting it, it's hard to see what you're doing even more so because I've got a light pointing down for the camera. It's going to be really tricky to try and paint the next piece. But we'll I'll angle the brush, tell you the distance. We're going to use setting number three for the next one. And this will put minimal paint down. So you can go a lot closer with the brush and you can get sort of minimal paint on there. Right guys, we are ready for the next colour. I've got some transparent shading grey in here and I've set this to base because the paint I've got is quite sort of grainy. It's an old paint, so I'm just giving the trigger a little bit more for the paint and I've set it to base for this next application. Now what we're doing on here is we're gonna do some sort of drop shadows onto the bottom parts of the text. So sort of make it look rolled off on the edges. So going same sort of distance away, you're going around about, I'm taking this to about three inches away, lightly bringing the trigger back and just start to go to the bottoms of the text probably hard to see if that's picking up but just put a little bit around the bottom edges just work back round till you get it to the colour that you're after So that's the drop shadow done on the bottom of that. We will switch the paint up, just blast through with your on full trigger in your cleaning pot. I did put too much paint in there for that application then. We'll soon blast this out. Little bit of cleaner blast through and we'll get ready for the next like guys we're ready for the next application i've got some thinned out white in here now i'm going to try and get the white to the tops of the letters just to make this pop a bit on the top i've got the setting on the brush to number three Just a little bit to the tops of the letters. Like that. Clean that through. Ready for the next colour. Now I'm going to go in with a black again and very lightly dust in just a little bit around the bottom again of the letters
Right, so we've dropped a little bit of white on the tops, a little bit of dark underneath the bottom edges. And now you're ready to demask it. So nice and simple. So it just gives you that little highlight now on the tops, stops it making, making it look flat. Right, the next stage to do on this is we're going to do some star bursts on these highlights here, on this corner bit there, and we're going to drop a star burst on there. So get your star burst tool. If you want to know how to make these little star burst shields, it is on the channel guys, there is a video that shows you how to make them in like the plastic and make them out of um, cardboard as well. So that will go on there, we'll get some white paint in the airbrush and we will drop some star bursts on. So place your shield and what you're aiming to do is, where you've got the point of the S place your shield to there and you want to put a dot and just go for a dot so go quite close up I've got this on setting number three so it won't put a lot of paint out aim for a dot and then just sort of waft it up up and down not really a lot of paint. I'm going to move it to base. Put that back down. I just want a little bit more paint there. So you're aiming for that like real faint line. Now how you get the faint line is the easiest way to get that point to point line. Place your star burst on. Go to the center where the point of the S is, spray a dot and just spray your paint and then just start to pull back on your distance of your brush. Just lift up about an inch and a half, spray in and then just pull back and then take your finger off the trigger and it will put you a soft line point top and bottom. So then we just aim to go on this way same again like that a bit more paint now so you've got like the little cross we're going to do one this side on the point like that one that way A little bit more paint on that one. Like that. And then what you need to do, just to finish that off, go to the centre of your point. I've got it on base still. I'm about two inches off the panel. And just put a dot to the centre of the cross. And you can do the dot and just pull back on your distance and let that fade out. Nice bright highlight in the centre. Same with this, I'm going a little bit closer and just flicking that trigger. And that's it guys, that's complete. Nice and simple, effective graphic you've got the two little highlight star bursts either side you've got the little highlights around the top now if you wanted to make this pop even more if you've got an artist brush and you've got a steady hand dip a bit of white paint and just put some very sharp highlight 
on the tops of the actual logo you could do that and if you had, if you had another mask you could lay another mask over and then go back in and just resharpen up your highlights but i think that subtle look with just the nice glow on the tops of the letters and then you've got your transparent shading gray underneath just gives it that sort of 3d type look so a nice and simple one with the ultra guys the next thing on this will be let it dry down panel wipe this off and then clear coat it and that'll be finished so a nice little simple one suzuki logo in like a samurai font put down with the ultra went in full trigger done a silver edge let that dry put some silver uh, put some pin line round then i went in with black full trigger blacked the base we then dropped the logo down masked off the rest of the panel as you've seen in that clip and then the first color we went in with was silver dropped the silver down on the suzuki logo let that dry and then went in with a transparent shading gray just to the bottoms of these letters so you're going to the bottom edge here this one here round here along there to the bottom of that you could go a little bit down the sides on each side here if you wanted to it just gives that look just rounds the logo off instead of it looking so flat so go around all the bottom edges then get yourself some white drop your white to the top edges of the letters like that so on these pieces here along top of that one top of this one coming around like that tops there little bit in here top of the k and then top there and then we finished off with the starbursts nice and simple some nice crisp like starbursts like where the light's hitting a light point and just really shining off so i hope you enjoyed the video settings on the ultra with full trigger we've used base and i've used number three so sort of nice one to do this really easy with the brush we were running 25 psi i cranked it up to 30 at the beginning to really get the paint down and that's covered that panel's about a foot wide by six or seven inches deep and it laid the paint down really nice few passes for the black and it's job done so i'll pan you around pan you around we'll flip the sign up so you can see it properly right guys that's better i'm not talking down to an overhead camera see what i'm doing now so that was a little bit fiddly because i'm up the opposite side i'm going to flip the screen around and the camera's sort of over this way i've got light coming down so spraying silver would be nice to spraying it upright like this but that's the panel so you're aiming for when i say do the whites you're aiming for the top of the text when you've got your mask down you're spraying a little bit of white just sort of half on the mask half onto your s and you're getting sort of like a soft shade at the top on the top of that bit on this point here this little bit here tops there top top of that bit there top of this piece coming round there there and then you've got the top edge here top part of the k and the eye at the end and then the starburst just finish that off give it that little pop either side so as i say the next thing to for this would be clear coat and this would really make it pop off the panel because then because these are metallics on this once the clear coat hits it and glosses that up it'll just shine then so that would be the next stage you'd have to do on that would be to clear coat it that could be on the side of a gas tank on a fender just doing something as simple as that and the ultra coats with it really nice guys so the settings again were full trigger we put the silver down then i've done the pin line then i did full trigger on the black base coat 30 psi to get the coverage to really pump the paint out and then we just dialed the pressure back to 25 psi and then we went in on like the base coat setting to dust in the silver on the suzuki logo and then i just dropped the setting down on number three when you start to go in closer like two or three inches to two inches number three you can bring the trigger right back and the brush just sits really comfortable and just 
puts out that correct amount of paint for going in on them tight details. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can join me in the next one because we're doing another test panel like this with the Ultra and it's going to be candy flames. So we're going to do a black base, show you how to drop some white down with the Ultra and then we'll drop some candies down, backing off with the brush, get the set in, sort the air pressure out and we'll do some candy blue flames. So thanks again. Drop your comments guys. Don't forget if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying the content, click that subscription. Press the notification so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos. Drop us a thumbs up, it does help the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.